Well, let's see if we can get the uh, uh, bearing adapters mounted up now. These have already been sandblasted, but with all the the work, uh, you know, on the with the grease and everything like that on the spindles and stuff, uh, you know, that of course that's uh, <laughs> left over from sandblasting and stuff. So, uh, brake cleaner, some nasty ass crap, but uh, it doesn't leave a uh, residue. So. Now normally, okay, I would take a piece of uh, uh, emery, and in a lot of kits I've put emery in, and then just take the emery and go around and scuff the thing up, okay, front and back, and, we, and I'm not trying to uh, do that here, but uh, just as an example, just uh, use the emery if I've put it in the kit or get some sandpaper or something, uh, and... Uh, Scuff it up, because usually it's a nice, uh, shiny, polished, almost polished surface, you know, kind of like in here. Uh, and the Loctite will stick to it. That's not a really a concern, but if you give it a little bit of tooth there. Uh, so, usually I wrap them in uh, these blue uh, paper towels for protection or whatever. But uh, So this, is, this was a kit that was already... Uh, sitting there waiting to uh, waiting to go so I'll just pull it out oh, there's the other inner okay so it should be a slip fit there we go nice and this uh, and there's a uh, oh, maybe two thousand um, and I think either one should fit nice Okay, let's just check this one to this one. Okay, that was even like that. Slight, tiny discrepancies. Make one fit different than the other. Okay, I like that too. Um, so, let's... Uh, I've, I've kind of sort of wiped them clean. Um... But let's uh, let's just give these a quick little wipe inside just to make sure there isn't something in there. I'm using brake cleaner. You can use uh, acetone or lacquer thinner. I'm sure either of those would work just fine too. All right, we'll let them sit for uh, for a minute or so um, to dry. Now this is the Loctite 680. This is uh, a retaining compound. It's four locking bearings onto uh, bearing and shafts together, basically. Uh, I'm going to be posting the MSDS, in case anybody wants it, up on the uh, the site here soon. Uh, and also the uh, the specs. Um, gives instructions on the backside here, but the, the spec is it will handle a 15 thousandths gap. Okay, and I can I can tell you right now that is not even close. Okay, uh, plus it also gives instructions on exactly how to do it. If it's a slip fit, you want to put it uh, around the front and then inside here and put it on. Uh, I do two ampules in the kit, so that way uh, uh, one for each side. So it's a pretty close fit, so it doesn't take a huge uh, huge amounts. We'll put that on the top there. We'll put uh, we'll put it all the way around in here. There we go. Um, okay. I'm going to try to and then we're going to give it a little twisting around there and just make sure that we get it smeared, you know, and uh, in all the surfaces there. Now, I want to make sure that gravity doesn't pull this thing off. See how it's sliding? Okay, so I'm going to take, uh, whoops, whoops, I'm going to take one of the rubber bands here and just uh, do it like that, just to hold it on there. 
that ought to be uh, that ought to be plenty. Um, and then uh, we'll take some more here. Now this is pretty uh, pretty close, and, and it'd be really hard for me to uh, not get it on the uh, threads there. So let's. Uh, Let's put that on the top, and then I think I'm only going to put it on the bottom here. Just so that I can come in here and kind of push down on it until it gets up on there. Okay. See, and I've, I've even provided the towel <laughs> for you to uh, clean the excess back off. And it's anaerobic, so it dries with the absence of oxygen, so you don't have to worry about uh, anything else. And it'll actually set up pretty, uh, pretty quick, depending on the temperature. And I, I can't tell if there's any left in that or not. So uh, that's one. Oh, as long as I'm here, let's uh, let's see. Wrong bearing. Correct bearing. Okay, good. It does slip on. I don't want to screw with that too much. Um, boom, 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 boom. Nothing. And it does slip fit onto that one too. Good. Okay, so then let's just. That's a stock bearing. That's a stock bearing. bearings all the numbers are on the back side basically and on the uh, uh, good ones they're on the front side depending on how you look at that you know but uh, uh, yes yeah, perfect perfect okay oh really don't really didn't need to bother with any of that but uh, okay so let's set this one aside glue the other one on uh, Oh yeah, see how that's completely covered? Nice. 
Okay. And there's the other rubber band. See, I've provided the rubber bands too, huh? <laughs> All right. Uh, shit. <laughs> I don't know which one was the last one I picked up. I guess as long as uh, there's uh, stuff in it, we're good to go. Got a little much on there, so. Got a little in the uh, threads there, putting it on. And the thing is, they're, they're a fairly loose uh, fit. You know, and as long as you don't put the nut on while uh, the, the shaft retainer is still uh, wet, uh, you know, you, you won't have any, uh, you won't have any problems, you know. Otherwise, you could uh, potentially glue that on. <laughs> 